is you don't quit your day job so you can afford the best stuff ever and play it whenever you get a chance to. Unless, of course, your band acts like a bunch of weirdos and divas and decide that they need to quit or break up or, uh, you know, have to stay home and not come out and ride bikes or whatever. But here is the DW5000 single pedal. Normally, I use a double pedal. I have used two kicks in the past, but um, I even had a DW, uh, what was it, a 7000, I believe it was? It was a 7000 double pedal. It's been years since I've had that one. Well, well over 10 years ago, but... I had to break down and finally get this one. I've used some other pedals, which I won't name in this video, but the DW5000 is one I've seen my entire career as a drummer. So many great drummers use it. And I thought to myself, you know, I really need to just break down one day and get one. And I've always tried them out at the shops and everything. I'm like, man, this feels so good. And, you know, but I didn't have the cash or whatever. So one day I decided to get a job that wasn't drumming. And, and lo and behold... God, the DW5000. And uh, this thing has a lot of cool features on it. You've got your um, dual beater here. Not a quad, but a dual. You've got the felt side, which is kind of worn down on one side. I probably had it angled wrong. The first time I took it out, so I don't get to play it very often, but the first time I took it out, uh, it got beat up pretty good. And this plastic side here, the hard plastic, I don't even know what that is. It looks like crap. Well, anyways, I probably play like it too. Look how, look how I've worn the felt. Looks terrible. I must have angled my drum wrong or the beater or something. Even the beater looks like it's... Well, maybe I did the beater wrong. Well, anyways, not important. <sighs> Keep that in mind for later. So you've got the double chain. you got the cool foot board. Of course, it says the drummer's choice. And whenever you see this 5000, you see the DW brand. It's just like, oh, it's like a BMW. It's just... You know, some expensive uh, automobile that typically you're not going to be able to afford. But <laughs> in this case, yeah, I, I bought it. Uh, you've got some other features here. Of course, you got the typical stuff. Like you've got your little heel plate. You've got the screws here that have the nice little teeth and spikes that stick out there. And this is where I used to have a DW drum key, but put it on my keychain instead because I seem to lose those a lot. Even though I keep putting them in my car, uh, they seem to disappear. Got this, of course, in this uh, logo here, in this red thing. And this is the plus and minus that, uh, you know, I guess it's for more tension or less tension. To be honest with you, I basically took this out of the box and started playing on it. I don't do a lot of adjustments. If I like the feel of it right off the bat, I just go with it. And if um, at some point maybe I feel it's not working for me, I might experiment with it. To be honest, when it first, um, when, when it first played, when I first played it, it had a bit of a, as it would say in the uh, side of the box from the instructions, this is the accelerator, by the way, the, the 5,000 single pedal accelerator model. It's, uh, it's eccentric and it does have a little bit of, it's really powerful and very fast. It's just that, um, you have to kind of learn how to control it a little bit at first it kind of gets away from you so some of the things that you might do typically with another pedal uh, that's not as efficient or not as quick as this one you might run into a problem where the the if you're doing a double with your beater that you might find that it goes faster than you expect it to or that maybe you need to lay off a little bit with a pedal and let it do its own work so uh, it's a well-crafted instrument it's very um very smooth very quick strong and this is something i'd highly recommend i'm hoping to use it more it's just that some of the recording situations in studio not studio but a uh, studio live mostly live playing that i do uh there's always this requirement at some point in the show where i've got to play double bass so that's why I'm just going to stick with the single pedal and try to work on the guys and tell them, you know, man, I really need to go with the single pedal, not the double. Let's just, let's go with that. Let's go back to the single. Let's, you know, kind of keep it more John Bonham, you know. But that doesn't always uh, fly too well. So, yeah, this is the DW. And I'm a proud user of this and would like to use this specific model more often. And if you uh, are watching this YouTube video or wherever this ends up, if you can give me some likes, uh, subscribe to my page, or make some comments, give me a high five over the internet, or a thumbs up, or whatever the whatever they do. I don't know anymore. There's just so much stuff going on. 
Anyways, it's Howard Yates, DW fan, drummer, one of the best of all time that nobody's ever heard of, signing out.